I recall the events leading up and shortly after 9-11 as if it were yesterday. It's hard to believe that most of the students, if not all in this building, were born after 9-11. I woke up on September 11, 2001, and got ready for work like I did on any other work day. As I made my, round, my way around the store, I noticed a bunch of employees from the grocery store huddled around a portable radio. They quickly noticed me in uniform and explained to me that a plane had just crashed into the World Trade Center towers. I didn't grasp the gravity of the situation, thinking that with all the air traffic in New York, it was probably a small plane or helicopter <coughs> that hit the tower. I quickly purchased the food and drove to the fire station across the street. I walked through the door at the fire station, and at that time, I knew there was a problem. All the firefighters on and off going were huddled around the TV in disbelief. Minutes later, United Airlines Flight 175 crashed into the south tower of the World Trade Center. Both towers were on fire and the scene looked ominous. This was no accident. This was a deliberate attack on U.S. soil, and I knew this moment would forever change the fire service and the world we live in today. Over the next hour, American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon and United Airlines 93 crashed near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. My engine company that day started to respond to all different kinds of emergencies as the chaos going on back east quickly escalated across the rest of the nation, even wreaking havoc in southern Arizona. The nation came to a complete standstill knowing that the United States of America was at war with an unknown enemy. An enemy with an unorthodox way of fighting one that was calculated, precise, and deliberate, not caring at all who they injured or killed that day, including themselves. Both twin towers burned for an hour or so before collapsing to the ground. We knew at that point there, were, there would be a large loss of life and a heavy hit to first responders in New York City. The, ne the next couple of weeks were very stressful for me and my wife as we braced the, for the birth of our daughter, Hannah Nicole Draper. The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 set in motion events that would change the course of life in the U.S. and around the world. The attacks on U.S. soil that day were a series of four coordinated attacks and was the deadliest attack in the history of the United States. These attacks caused the deaths of 2,996 people and injured more than 6,000 others. 343 firefighters, 73 law enforcement officers, 55 military personnel, and 8 EMT paramedics died in the attacks on 9-11. Citizens of 78 countries such as England, Germany, Mexico, Dominican Republic, and many more died that day in New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania.
Additionally, people have died from 9-11 related respiratory and digestive diseases, cancer, post-traumatic stress disorder, and more in the months and years following the attacks. It is expected by the 20th anniversary of 9-11, more people will have died from 9-11 related illnesses than the attack itself. Although I was born a month after 9-11, I see how this tragic event still affects our nation today. Training for first responders and military increased, as well as relationships between all fields across our country. I am so proud to grow up in a community, community with such amazing role models who spend their day protecting us. I can remember quite a few nights where he was called out at midnight and wouldn't be back for many hours. On 9-11, I would watch documentaries and learn about the tragic event and think about the first responders who died. My dad, for most of his life, has been doing that job. You've taught me so much. Because of you, I learned to be strong and brave. And mostly, you've taught me to never give up on my dreams. He is my hero, and I couldn't have asked for a better role model growing up. But this day is not only about remembrance, it's also about honoring those who risked their lives for this country. When New York City's Twin Towers were attacked on September 11, 2001, America was forever transformed, and Patriot Day became a day of remembrance and honor. Although we cannot change the past, we can change how we move forward as a nation. We must practice constant vigilance in the war against terrorism. Never forget, thank you for your time and attentiveness.